market-based pricing. The fact that you want a bigger discount, Miguel, is not lost upon me. I don't blame you a bit. Everybody wants a bigger discount, or in this particular case, there's no discount at all, okay? And you're probably thinking to yourself, every other time you bought a vehicle, you've gotten a discount, right? Why aren't you getting one now? Let me tell you why you're not getting one now. We price our vehicles to the market, all right? Now, what's that mean? It means we use third-party software, the same type of software that Walmart, uh, Target, Delta, hotels, gasoline stations, grocery stores use to price their products, okay? Um, we match every vehicle we have in our inventory up with every other like vehicle in a 500 mile radius and we're going to be at or below market every single time. Miguel, our price brought you in here, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that we had the right vehicle and the price couldn't have been too out of bounds or you wouldn't be here. We weren't the only website you checked out, correct? Miguel? You're paying MSRP for this vehicle because that's what the market requires. Now, I need your okay down here so I can get your truck ready for delivery. That's market-based pricing. Um, and it's also the truth. Do we use software to price our vehicles? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. And if you compare our pricing to Walmart and Target, is that a good thing? Yeah. What are they known for? Great value. Great value, low prices, okay? <laughs> By the way, hotels and airlines do this. I, I, I've told these guys a couple times, my airplane ticket was $150, $150 odd dollars more to fly on Monday morning to, from Atlanta to Dallas than it was on Sunday afternoon. Why? Supply and demand. Supply and demand, okay? My hotel rooms on Monday night are never as much as they are on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Why? More people traveling on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays than Monday nights. Okay, Sunday nights are even cheaper, Saturday, as long as it's not a resort. Saturday nights are even cheaper. I mean, you go to a Hampton Inn on Wednesday, it could be $225. On Saturday, it could be $160 because of supply and demand. It's the same way we price our new and used vehicles. All right? That should be your number one price defense when someone bitches. Actually, your number one price defense should be an acknowledgement and a reclose. Tell me the price is too high, Nathan. Price is too high. Nathan, everybody says that. Don't blame you for saying it. Fact of the matter is prices have never been higher, but you picked out the most gorgeous truck in the history of trucks, and I need your okay right down here. Okay? I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not even going to treat it like an objection. But then if he goes, hey, read my lips, price is too high, or I want a bigger discount, well, now i got to go into multiple, I mean, multiple strategies. I'm going to use market-based pricing first. 